Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Give me a thumbs up if you guys see this over here. Yeah, love it guys. Uh, you guys look so good and just really excited to be here with you guys. Um, coming in uh, live from our office and just really excited about the times and the things that are going on guys. Right now we wanna make sure that everyone is, is absolutely lighting it up with the, with the incentives that we have as a company. Uh, the one by one, you want to make sure that you are hitting that one by one. So congratulations to those that are one by 1000 already. And for those of you uh, that right now are learning the licensing process, we have in a, an amazing agenda this morning that's going to absolutely help take your business to the next level. So I uh, just want to give you a little taste of what we have lined up right now. We have, and for those of you that are competing for Broadmoor, guys, I mean, the company is giving over 300,000 points right now so that you can absolutely max out and win. And this is catch up time, guys. So this is where we absolutely light it up and dominate. And so, you know, starting us off and, uh, and I'll introduce her in a second to you guys uh, as she gets ready to light it up. The first one that I wanna talk to you guys about is Sarah. Sarah Isaacson, Sarah and Alex are, are just absolutely killing it, are pushing for their second diamond right now. Uh, but she's got just licensing down to a T. And what she does is she makes sure, I mean, she makes it so seamless where someone comes on board and the minute they start working with us, she immediately sets the expectation up up front. She gets them uh, their states booked, all the questionnaires done, uh, the fingerprints scheduled. Like she really sets that up up front. And right now we really have to utilize the online process, whether you're in New York, it's great that we have it in New York, but we want to make sure that our teammates are doing that. And across the, across the uh, nation, guys, we have the online class. So, you know, go on there and make sure that you, you get this down, but she's going to give us a little taste of that. Then we're going to have Jimmy and Eileen, guys, almost across the, about 20,000 in income last month in the month of March. And we're just so proud of what they're doing and, and the, the, you know, the, the example that they're setting, the personal example, the team, you know, triple digit attendance is what they're, they're averaging right now on uh, via Zoom. And so they're totally utilizing it. So I know that they're gonna light it up. Then the next, uh, the next uh, partnership that you're gonna have is Magda Nora and absolutely killing it. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Uh, personal production is on fire. And then we have, uh, closing us out, the one and only, my best friend, my partner in life, the awesome Glenn Lee. Um, just so proud of the example he's setting personally and, uh, and team. So I'm just really, really excited about today's agenda. And so I'm going to turn it over to the awesome, the beautiful Sarah Isaacson. SEO, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dragons. So today I'm going to cover how to easily get somebody on their online class. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to share my screen. We're going to go to the um, Chimerica website. All right, so there we go. So you're going to get to your home screen. Um, and the first thing I like to do is go to licensing and education. And I, I like to go to getting licensed. The reason why is that getting licensed shows you all the tools that you need in order to, to complete your licensing. So it gives you all the steps from step one to the end. So this way, you know, if you need any fingerprints, if your state requires any fees, whatever your state requires, because all states do vary, you want to make sure that you go to licensing and education and getting licensed and just give, um, give this a minute and it'll load up and I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay, this is perfect. So right here, you get to select your state, whatever state you're in, select. Um, I'm going to select Florida because that's the state that I'm in. And what's so special about this is if you have family in Florida, but you're in New York, you can select life non-residents and it'll teach you how to get your non-residence license. But today we're gonna focus on how to get your residence license for your state. When you hit get information, as you see here, everything's already written out for you from step A to B on Primerica getting license. So very easily, the first step you wanna make sure that you complete, is you wanna make sure that you get your pre-licensing course. This would also give you the option of online or in class. And currently we're going to focus on in class, um, online. And then as we're, we're here for a little moment, you'll also see that um, Florida does require something maybe different. We do have people here that are from New York, from New Jersey. So that's why it's so special to go on here and see what your state requires. They do require a third party access and they do show you exactly how to do that. This is perfect. And now we are here. And then as that loads up, that's going to bring us to a third party. So I'm going to, uh, it's actually going to bring us to where you pick class. 
or online, we're going to pick online and then it's going to take us to a third party. Hi, Sarah, as, yes. that's, as that's loading up, um, just pretend I'm a new person. Uh, what would, what, how would you set the expectation up as that's loading up for me? Like, how would you set it up where I'm excited about going through the process? So I'm a brand new person. I'm just getting started. How do I, how do I go through this process? Like, how do you set step one, step two, and three? Okay. Awesome. So um, one of the things I do is step one is that we got to register onto your Primerica online because everything you, you're going to go through is Primerica online. The reason why I tell someone that is everyone has different tech uh, savvy. So you want to make sure you make everything simple and you walk someone through every single step. So don't assume someone knows something already. Make sure that you let them know that first you're going to go onto Primerica online and then you're going to sign on to your class. The reason why is that you want to make sure that when you do leave the person that they know how to easily get onto the system. The second thing I do is I say that we're going to set up your online pre-licensing course. I'm going to get you into that, show you how it works, and then we're going to set up your state exam. And I always set the expectation for the state exam. The main reason why is I just know personally for me, when I was taking the state exam, when I was taking, uh, when I was in college, um, you don't study for a test until two weeks until it, you have to take it. So I always say it's so important to have a due date, especially when you're doing an online course, because the due date helps you move through the course faster instead of us dragging it, dragging it out from, for longer than it needs to be. So what I'll do is I'll set the expectation on how to get on. I will show them that you go right here for your online pre-licensing. And also I make sure that I do this with the person um, because you want to make sure that you're, you're making it as easy as possible for them so that they can duplicate this at home. So you'll go ahead and get them on to the online system. You'll set them up. I'll, uh, I'll show you how it looks a little bit. And then there's three things that you want to make sure that you make clear to the new agent, especially with online. We have to remember that online, everyone has a different feeling for technology. So be patient through the process and make sure that you you include even the simplest thing as in, uh, you know, select this and click that because sometimes what's obvious to us may not be obvious to someone else. So really easy. The second thing I do is make sure that they understand how it, easy it is to use the system. I tell them when you get onto You Can Pass, your username is going to be your Primerica email, which as for example, you can see our Primerica email here. That's gonna be your username. You're gonna hit continue and it's gonna ask you a few questions that you wanna get prepared for. And as a leader, you wanna make sure that your agent has this information. And the first information is what state are they gonna get licensed in, right? Uh, outside of New York, go ahead and you'll select your state. I do select Florida. Also, the next thing that you're gonna want them to know is um, you know, what's your RVP state's resident, right? Maybe someone lives in, in Florida, but their RVP is in New York and New Jersey. Make sure that they have that information. So um, our, our, our residence is Florida. Another thing you want to make sure that they have is the RVP's last name. Um, they will have to select their RVP. And then the third thing that they must have, okay, here we are. So we'll select, and I'll just kind of do this with you guys. Um, so we'll select our last name. And the third thing, and the most important thing that new agents do not know, so you wanna make sure that you get this information to them, is that what's their RVP's solution number. So those are the things that you wanna make sure that you have for them when they go into You Can Pass, because if they go on and don't have this information, it's very hard for them, and you, don't, you wanna make the, the process as easy as possible. The next thing that they're going to do is they're going to create a password, make sure that you know you stress how important it is to have these passwords saved on a white piece of paper or on their phone somewhere so that when it's time to use it on their own it's easy as possible um and then everything else is very simple they're going to launch course and study by topic and primerica does a great job i think this is as far as it's going to let me go uh, they do a great job with having videos simulators and one of the things i always tell someone is you got to sell the online system You've got to sell it to the uh, to the new recruits so that they know that the online system is going to help them pass the state exam. So I always tell everyone the online system is amazing. The questions are going to be um, formulated as a sample of what the state exam is going to look like. So the online questions are going to get you ready for your state exam. If you do that, someone is going to be more um, they're going to be more inclined to use and utilize the online system 
because now they feel when they take the state exam, because of the online system, they're extremely ready for it, right? And last thing I'm going to show you guys, so I'm going to just leave this page. The next thing is um, for, there we go, for you guys to make sure that they, they create a password and a security question. Okay, I'm just going to disagree. And then I'm just going to show you where some of the information is. And it's pretty easy, guys. Once you get them onto Primerica Online, once you get them um, onto getting licensed, getting licensed does an amazing job of explaining each step to them and just being there with them and explaining each step and what to do. But the two most important things I spend time on is getting them onto their online course and getting their state exam um, booked and making sure that they understand the more use the online course, the more prepared they will be for their um, state exam. So we go to licensing and education, getting licensed, you select your state. And then when you select your state, oh, there we go, it's going quicker. When you select your state, it's gonna show you everything that your state needs. So the next thing I do is after I do the online course, we've got that, we've got our password, we're feeling comfortable. I already sold how important the online course is gonna get you ready for your state exam. I go straight into the state exam, right? So you're gonna find the state exam linked right there. It's Pearson View. For other states, it may be PSI, um, Prometric, there may be different, or exam FX. Get them on that, um, help them create accounts or they can go ahead and call the Pearson number. Make sure, it's very important that you make sure they have the information. The information is when you're doing the state exam, they need to know what test. They need to know what provider, right? You wanna make sure you equip them when they call. So I always help them, you know, their test is 0214, the life and annuity, um, and Primerica is their provider, right? And then after that, very simple, after those two things are done, I get their questionnaire, we fill that out together, and then I give them their number, for their, uh, for their fingerprint and their and the billing code, we go ahead and book the fingerprint and everything is done for them. So right now, all they have to do is study. They've got everything set up. I let them know that I'm there for the whole entire process if they need it. But the key ingredient is making it simple, um, explaining the system with them. And, and very important, at the end, make sure that you log out of everything and say, hey, go ahead and log in for yourself. Um, and let's do it together, right? So that when they go home, they can be as successful as possible. All right, guys, I hope that was very um, helpful today. I get the awesome pleasure, and he just hit his ninth, ninth diamond, um, Glenn and Theo, so I get the pleasure of bringing Glenn Lee up. Glenn, can you hear? I got you, Sarah, thank you. Great job on that. <laughs> and I just wanna reiterate uh, one thing that she talked about is the, is the importance of license. Why do you wanna get licensed, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you the reason why licensing is so important to this, okay? So what? Licensing is the greatest indicator of your team size. So if you take a look at this, if you take a look at team size, okay? And I want you guys to take this down because you gotta understand the numbers that, that work in Primerica. Everything is the numbers. The thing that differentiates us and every other company out there that, that people think are kind of like us, any re company that recruits and talks about big opportunity is the fact that we really have a great opportunity here, okay? And, uh, and there's a reason why we got more people making six and seven figures than any other company in the history of American business. And the reason why is you could, if, if we attract people that are, that are motivated, ambitious, hardworking, and they listen, you know, um, what, what, we'll, what we'll get are, we're gonna get the cream of the crop, we're gonna get the people that rise to the top, right? What, what we're gonna do is, we're, we're gonna get people that follow the system. And the system says, you know, the more licenses you have, okay, the more potential of you making money. So if you take a look at what is the team size, what is your team size? Company-wise, right? So if you take a look at the number of licenses, right, license reps, and it, these are company numbers that I saw, right? So 16% of your licenses are gonna do business. So you can, you can design your income by designing your team, by designing how many people come through the system that go through the system, okay? We give everybody a shot, okay? It doesn't mean everybody is gonna do what it takes to make it, but we give everybody the opportunity to make it, okay? But if you take a look at this, it says 16% will do business, okay? So, and, and the average person that does business writes about two apps, 
let's just say if the average app is eighty dollars a month, I think our average app is maybe a little bit more in 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 our in our hierarchy, but about eighty dollars a month. So what so what happens? So so that will equal your average team production. Here's here's an example. Okay, so if company numbers, if you have fifty licensed representatives on your team, that's fifty licenses uh, on on your team. Okay, in your downline. 16% of that will do business. And if they write two apps each, that's, that's $960 per, per life, life sale annual premium. And that's gonna be about a $15,000 base shop. Now, if you're, now, you can influence that if you are a strong personal producer, okay? Like Kaylin last month did 22,000 on her own pen last month, right? I know, I know Marquise did over 12,000 on his own pen. So that's in addition to what your team produces. So, so, so when a team has a leader that produces or leads by example, you're always gonna have a team that does more production because remember, we always hear the team will do half of what you do, right? And then so eventually, not everybody's gonna do what you do, but everybody's gonna eventually, or you're gonna have people on your team that eventually will catch what you do. You know, Keith, Keith Otto used to say, this business is not taught, it's caught. So if you're, if you're a strong personal producer, right, you're, you're eventually going to produce teammates that are strong personal producers because that's what they understand. So, so $15,000 base shop. Now, depending on what your diversification is, okay, and obviously your quality of business. But if you take a look at what if, what if, I, run a, what if I run a team and I license a hundred license reps. See, what Sarah talked about is so important because that's the initial part. See, you gotta have an end in mind. Have an end in mind. Why do I go through helping everybody, walking through every single person on how to go on You Can Pass, especially in today's climate, right? Right now, even in New York, it's, it's exam FX, right? But we got to walk every person through, not because it's it's a it's boring, because it, it's because you know what 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 if they quit anyway? Listen, we understand the numbers. People are supposed to quit, okay? We don't want them to quit, but based on numbers, we don't. You can't get emotionally involved when with the numbers. You just got to understand that as people come through, you got to love everybody. You got to work with everybody. But then what happens is people are the ones that, that, that indicate to you, should I work, should you work with me, right? If, see, watch, how hard do you have to work with somebody that doesn't show up? How hard do you have to work with somebody that doesn't return your call? See, that, I mean, think about it. It could be if you, if you, if you get too emotionally attached to the numbers, sometimes that will hurt you. Somebody doesn't call, oh my God, I can't believe what happens. You know, uh, this guy didn't call me back. I, you know, I loved her. I loved him. You know, we can't, we can't fall in love with everybody too soon. We got to love everybody, but don't fall in love with everybody too soon because like Hector Lamar talked about, even after a year or two years, you, you don't know who's going to stick. You don't know who's going to be around, right? You don't know who's going to be. So you, you, can, you can recruit some people that take off right away but then, but then everything is fine. Everything is dandy. Everything, everything is positive. But what if they get their first charge back? What if their first guy quits? What if they got a whole team that quit, right? What if they have a bad one or two months? What if they get some negativity? What if they go, th go, go, through, go through marital issues, right? What if they go through family issues? What if they go through health issues? How do they rebound? How do they react, right? So, so you don't know what's going to happen. So that's why you got to recruit law with the law of large numbers in a short period of time. And also at the same time, make sure that you get people through the system and license them. Okay. Give everybody as much help as they, as they, as you can give them. Okay. And, and they're going to let you know, let me in, let me in. Right. Or they're, they're, or they're going to say, listen, this is too much success for me. Too many meetings, too much success, too much. So we got, we got to know who we're dealing with, right? So watch, 100 licensed reps. So you may have to recruit 400 people to get 100 licensed reps. You might have to recruit three. Whatever your numbers are, okay, your licenses are going to come from how many recruits you, you come, that come through the system. How many recruits? So, so your recruits, you, never, you can't sacrifice recruiting numbers because you're focused on licensing. Where do licenses come from? How many recruits you have, right? So watch, out of 100 licensed reps, if 16% of them do business, 
The, and the bigger your business gets, the more in line with the company numbers they become. Because when your business is not that big yet, I remember when our business was at three or four people, I go, hey, I get a 100% licensing ratio. Then I realized I don't recruit that many people, you know? And so, and so the bigger your business gets, the further, of the further your business gets from you as far as you start developing other leaders, okay? The, the bigger your legs get, okay? The, 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 more, hi, the, the more, more your hierarchy grows, the, it's gonna fall in line with the company numbers. So watch. 16% will do business, two apps each. That's a $30,000 base shop. So what is a $30,000 base shop? A $30,000 base shop is, is where, and if you are the regional vice president running a $30,000 base shop, and like Jimmy and Eileen are running it, like, like, a, like, like, a, like a, a Mikey and Zenny, you know, Alex and Sarah, you know, uh, uh, Magda and Nora, and these superstars are starting to run $30,000 base shops. Jimmy and Eileen, right, and, and Mikey and Zenny, they'll they run 50, 60, 70,000 uh, this month, right? So watch this. Okay, watch this. What if you run a base that does 200 licensed reps? Now, I also want you to understand that the, the longer your people have been licensed, if they haven't established teams yet, the less they tend to do versus new licenses. So the name of the game is how many new licenses you get. So 200 licensed reps, right? And by the way, you got to get this thing like, like Cheryl Bartlett talks about, you know, get it to the point where it's geometric progression, where it starts growing on its own, where people start recruiting people on their own, where, where production starts coming in and licenses start coming in because you just have so many leaders, right? That, 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 that influence the whole, the, the whole game plan of the entire hierarchy. So watch, 200 licensed representatives right? 16% will do business. The average person will do about two apps. That's a $60,000 base shop. Guys, you can design your team because ultimately where does licenses come from? It comes from recruits. Where do recruits come from? It comes from how many prospects you prospect. And where do, where do prospects come from? Could come from anywhere. It could come from your hot market, your, your, your teammates' hot market, their natural warm market, your, 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 your a warm referral market. It could, go, uh, it could come from cold prospecting. Obviously, the colder it is, the more numbers you have to go through until you warm up that leg, right? So wherever the prospects come from. So check this out. 400 licensed representatives, right? Our, we, we have a base shop that, that hovers around 300 licensed representatives right now, right? And then, and then the goal is to fill it in with a lot of new licensed reps. The goal is to get it to a 500 licensed base shop as we're promoting out regional vice presidents or, uh, uh, or really regional vice presidents promote themselves out because they're the ones that indicate, check me out. I'm doing the numbers. I want it bad. I'm putting the, the, my districts in place. I'm getting all my licenses. I'm taking ownership. I have a great quality of business, right? I'm doing the production. I can make money on my own pen. Whatever the numbers are, right? As, as we grow the base, as you grow your base, right? Then you promote out regional vice presidents. So 400 licensed representatives, 16% will do business, two each. That's a whoa, $120,000 base shop. There's only a handful of base shops that do that. You're in the elite of the elite. So it's just a breeding ground for success, right? When you have a big base shop, you know, you're, you're a, a healthy big base shop, okay? Good quality of business, great attitudes in there, right? Like your then then or well trained people, right? A lot of leaders, a lot of width, and then all of a sudden you're gonna have hierarchies being built, RVPs popping out, right? So, with that being said, let me bring it back to my 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 beautiful wife, CEO Mara Lee. Thank you, Glenn. That was awesome stuff, and uh, I know that uh, that the, the team is excited about exploding licenses. And guys, when this when the floodgates open, we have to make sure that guys are scheduled for their state. Sarah, great job on that. Uh, we want to make sure that guys have everything booked. I mean, you can go online and book them uh, immediately. So the next person that I want to bring up, the next couple I want to bring up, they're near term, uh, two hundred thousand dollar earners, and I'm so excited about what they're doing. Actually, on track for their SVP uh, promotion. So I'm gonna turn it over to the awesome Jimmy and Eileen. All right, can you hear me, Seal? Thank you so much. 
All right. Good morning, dragons. And today we want to talk to you guys about, you know, generating activity. But, uh, you know, most of all, generating activity with your existing clients online, because more than ever now, you know, it's the best time. And it's all, every time is the best time, you know, for us to go over, you know, information with our clients, maybe update their financial needs analysis and, you know, providing, you know, grade A customer service. Because right now, when all the other companies are shutting down on their clients, we are out there you know, going out there and calling them and checking on them. So I'm going to, you know, display two formats. Number one, I'm going to talk about how to reach out to your lapsed clients, okay? And don't be afraid to reach out to, to your lapsed clients because a lot of times, you know, when they drop their policy with us or they're no longer a client with us, we, we feel a certain way and we're like, you know what? Um, I'm just going to go get another one. And, and this time I, I tend to want to put my ego aside and I checked on everybody because of the situation that's going on. And, and believe it or not, a lot of people were touched by that. A lot of people actually started following directions because, you know, number one, we're licensed representative of the state that we live in. So we know what we're talking about. And number two, you know, it shows that rather or not there are clients as, as a primary representative, we still want to check on the well-being because when we went into that household, I told them, listen, you're not just going to be my nine to five client. You know, it's a lifetime relationship that we're going to build. I have other clients that invite us to weddings, baby showers. And that's why, you know, more than ever, we need to build a strong foundation with our clients. Rather or not that, you know, they have the policy with us, they still pick up their phone call. And I think that's one, one thing that, you know, Jimmy and I have developed is um, building a relationship with your client that rather or not, regardless of what happened, they still pick up on us because they know that, you know, that one phone call isn't just to, you know, hit a sale. You know, because we, we keep in contact with them every three months, every six months, we have our top five um, favorite clients, not favorite clients, but our top five clients that we are always communicating with. And they're on our uh, social media, we're great friends. We congratulate each other when their kids graduate. So, you know, um, we go on our CRM more than ever now. And, you know, if, if I'm chatting with them and just in my lingo, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm just checking on all my clients and see if they need any updates. And you know, I see that your policy fell off a while back, you know, um, especially at this situation, let's put it back on. Maybe, you know, the amount that we, we gave you at that moment don't suit your, your income right now, but we could work on that. And you could go on policy change and you could change the coverage and then you could continue reinstating it. The most important thing is, you know, your clients or your old clients need to feel that you know, when nobody's there for them, we're there for them because that's the truth, guys. And we reinstated over 18, 20 policies just because they feel that we care about them. There was a client that, you know, um, you know, we've been helping our teammates. You know, we have teammates that told us they were going to get it done and they never did. And I go, you know what? Let me help them out. As a leader, let me get on that CRM and help them reinstate these stuff, you know, and, and I had a guy that was all uh, a teammate of ours and he kept chasing me and asking me, you know, did the policy issue yet? And I was like, it's going to get issue. It's going to get issue because, because I've been delivering medicine to hospice. I've been delivering medicine to rehab homes and half of these, uh, these patients are not well. And I'm scared guys, do you know how many of our clients are out there? They're essential workers. We work with mainstream families. You know, a lot of them are medical workers, frontline workers. And if we don't visit them, nobody else is going to visit them. I get it that we tell them, thank you for being in the front line, you know, but what if God forbid something happens, you know, not just a thank you, their whole entire family will also thank you for putting that policy back on the books. Just because you put our egos aside and, and say, let me try this one more time. Right. And it's so important. And, and that's one thing that we did forget about what they've done in the past. Forget about, you know, whatever it is between us. Let's put this back on and let's recreate this relationship. And number two is, you know, how to reach out to existing clients, okay? And you go to your CRM and there's active clients. There's your personal ones. And if you're an RVP, you see all your teammates, active clients. And I look at how long they've been with us. And sometimes, you know, I'm like, wow, I haven't checked on this client in a while. And, and as an agent, I just give them my personal story. I check on them. I'd be like, hey, how's it going? How's the family? I just want to make sure everybody is safe, right? Small talk. You don't want to just jump in there 
And I tell them, you know, it's crazy because I've been thinking about life and me and my husband recently both increased our policy and we were just surprised that if you think about it, an extra $20,000, $30, your family gets an extra $150,000, $250,000. Guys, I don't know how important it is to you guys, but there's a lot of families out there that extra $20 where they don't go buy coffee, they skip a bagel, they eat at home, and God forbid something happens, that family gets paid out double the amount. You understand that. And then I also stress that, you know, compliance-wise, we got to go through what with the blood work, we got to make sure we're not only increasing coverage because of what's going on, we're increasing coverage because we're raising awareness. You know, we want to make sure that even when it's all said and done, they're going to keep that policy because of the value that we bring to the client, right? We sit down with them and we go ahead and we update their financial needs analysis. Every one of our clients have a financial needs analysis or else we're not approving that business because quality of business is very important. I don't want a client to increase anything or do business with us because of fear. You know, it's the same thing that we've been operating businesses. We're going to do a perfect presentation to bring them the value, remind them why they need what they do. But now it's time to update your financial needs analysis. Some people have gotten a raise that we didn't know about. Some people had an extra baby. You know, we congratulate them, but we forgot to update their FNA. Some people have gotten married. We congratulate them, but we forgot to add a spouse. You know, how many, how many clients that we've added child riders on, uh, child conversions, thank, thank God to the home office, they have the child conversion tab for us. They have a new, new, a new thing on POL called My Alert, right? And you click on that, every single alert comes out. Whatever that your client does, you know in 24 hours. Isn't that cool? We don't have to wait for the client or home office to say, hey, it is about to fall off. There's a tab on POL where you click on my alert and everything populates. Isn't that cool? We have all the tools to go out there to assist our clients. Why not? I, I challenge you to just go out there and, and check on your clients. You know, give them the best service possible because, you know, they gave us business and we need to treat them right. And I'm going to go ahead and pass that over to Jimmy. He's going to talk to you about, you know, reaching out to, to your teammates, okay? Great job, eh? Hey, Dragons. Good morning. How are you guys doing? It's always an honor to, uh, you know, be up here and do training for you guys. And, uh, you know, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to talk about creating activity uh, three ways, okay? And I'm going to give real life examples of what we've been doing. Uh, the first thing is uh, we've been reaching out to a lot of old teammates, okay? Uh, teammates that show up, teammates that don't show up. And, uh, you know, the first thing we did was we, we want to, you know, small talk with them and check on their safety, okay? So reach out to your old prospects. Reach out to your old friends that might have said no to you before because everybody's looking to make some extra income right now. Rather, they work a job or they have a small business or they're self-employed, people are hurting out there. And what a company, man. What a way that we can give back to the American people by sharing them this awesome opportunity for them to make extra income with us. And then number three is reaching out to our clients, okay? I mean, we've done a phenomenal job, uh, you know, reaching out to clients, building relationship with clients. But when we reach out to clients, we kind of have a checklist of what we want from our client. I mean, the first thing is, is obviously reestablishing the relationship, making sure they're good, making sure they're safe, you know, maybe uh, do, do uh, uh, you know, are we able to put on a lapse policy, you know, maybe get referrals, right? So, so one thing we've done was we're getting referrals from our clients even more because we already built that personal relationship, right? So there's two referrals, two types of referrals that we get. The first type of referrals are client referrals. Hey, you know, who do you know right now that are maybe single, you know, uh, have kids, maybe a single mom or single dad or a husband and wife that are looking to get life insurance, especially at a time like this, right? You know, we let them know because our clients know how important life insurance is already. So I want to get straight to the point and say, hey, what, you know, who do you know, family members, friends or coworkers? that right now are looking to get life insurance or even start saving money or investing money for the future. And then number two is we're always getting referrals for business opportunity, right? Hey, you know, uh, who do you know recently that may have got laid off 
you know, furlough, maybe their hours got cut. You know, our company is always expanding. As a matter of fact, we're in the midst of a major company expansion. So, you know, and one thing we did was uh, one of our clients, one of Eileen's great clients, Tawana, what she did was she introduced us to her daughter that lives two and a half hours away in Jersey, which we have never even heard of this place before. We thought Atlantic City was far. She lives an hour away from Atlantic City, right? And, and, and she was always saying, oh, you know, she's too far, she's too far, she's too far. And now with the video chat with Zoom, we're able to break barriers. So one thing we did was we got a video chat with uh, Tamara Blanding and we sat down with her yesterday and we did her FNA, right? She's, she's married, she has two kids, all right? And, 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 you know, right off the bat, we were already, uh, you know, going through the, the, you know, the recruiting interview and the client and we did her FNA and we closed for 135 a month, right? We protected the husband, the wife, uh, you know, with a child rider, but before we submitted that application and I say, hey, you know what? Why don't you work with us? Because you are a perfect couple, right? You're a teacher. You're already looking to make money. Your income got cut. Let's put your background check in. So we put her background check in, right? And, you know, her IBA in. And then one thing we did was we logged her onto the app, right? She already banked $50. She's zero by $1,500. Right today, I already know I'm going to recruit the husband into the business. So she's going to be one by 1500 today. And then she's already halfway to district leader. So we already know by the end of today or by the end of tomorrow, she's going to be a newly promoted district. I really hope that helped, you know, and, and, and anything that we can do to help you guys win. I'm going to pass it back Thank to Glenn and Seal. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, thank you. Awesome, awesome job. Love that you're sharing those success stories and those awesome tips. Uh, we're really excited. The next couple, the next partnership that we're going to introduce, they're absolutely on fire. They're utilizing the analysis um, while helping clients uh, get what they need, guys. So if uh, I can turn it over to the awesome, the one and only near-term $100,000 earner, Magda and Nora. So thank you so much, CEO. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you guys today is um, what we do across the kitchen table when we sit down with families. But what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna show you a sample of a FNA that you can actually find on, um, on POL. So let's take a look at it together. Um, so this is kind of when I sit down with clients, this is exactly what I cover with them. So one thing that I go over is I tell them, okay, if you look over here, Right now, this couple's monthly income was $6,400 a month. However, their monthly expenses was also $6,400 a month. So in all reality, this family was living paycheck to paycheck, just like many families out there in America today. And when we look over here at this pie chart, 45% of their income every single month was just going towards their debt alone. And 22% was going towards taxes, right? And they were only able to live off of 17% of what they made every single month, right? So we saw that they had a big red area in regards to their debt. So we wanted to show them how to get out of debt a lot sooner, right? And if you look over here, we tell families, we want to show them what is their net worth. When we talk to famous athletes, famous business, uh, business owners, movie stars, they're always talking about what is their net worth. But when we talk to a lot of middle income families, they're talking about to make 10 an hour, 20 an hour. So our goal is to educate them on what is their net worth and how do they calculate that. So we take their assets, everything that they own, minus their liabilities, everything that they owe, and that's where we're able to provide them with their net worth. In this example, they had a positive 70,000, but whether they're positive or negative, our goal is to help them increase their net worth as best and fast as possible. Now, another area and a main point that we cover is we want to educate people on what is their FIN number, which stands for financial independence number. So what we do is this example, this family, we ask them what age do they want to retire at. So in this example, they want to retire at 67 years old and they wanted about $5,000 coming into them on a monthly basis. Now, one thing that we know is there's, there's something called inflation. Prices are going up every single year. So in all reality, what they could buy today with 5,000 when they're 67, 
with a 3% inflation rate, they're going to need close to $10,000, almost $11,000, right? To be able to retire with, with the same amount of $5,000 coming to them on a monthly basis. So what we did was we broke it down for them even further. Right now, in order for them to accomplish that goal, they need to have $1.4 million saved up by the time they're 67. Otherwise, that goal of retiring with $5,000 a month is not going to become a reality. And we break it down even further for right now, they need to be saving $935 a month. Now, most people today in America, they can't set aside an extra $935 a month. So in this case, they really have three options. Option number one, they may have to delay the retirement. And we see people still working in their elderly ages. Nobody wants to delay their retirement. Option number two, they may have to lower their goals and dreams to match their income. And no one wants to go ahead and lower their goals and dreams either, right? We work day in and day out for 40 years of our lives, not to retire with less, but to be able to enjoy our lives. And option number three is maybe we can give them an opportunity where they can increase their income so they can actually match their goals and dreams. We give them an opportunity to work with our company on a part-time, spare-time basis, maybe make an extra thousand, two thousand dollars a month where they can set that away towards their retirement, right? And then another area that we cover with families is definitely the fact that they, um, when it comes to their debt, right? We give them, we provide them with their exact debt freedom date. If you look over here, this family, they were gonna retire, they were gonna be out of debt 17 years and six months from now at the age of 58 and 55. However, they were gonna pay just an interest rate back to the company over a hundred thousand dollars, right? So one thing that we were able to do is we were able to get them out of debt 10 years and four months sooner, and we were able to save them $42,000 in interest. That's the power of Primerica. Imagine showing someone how to get out of debt 10 years and four months sooner and save them $42,000 in interest. And most people, what they ask me is, how are we able to do that? with a program called debt stacking. And all we do is the computer, we put all their debts in order and the computer puts in a specific order for them based on interest rate, based on a lot of different factors. And if you look over here, this family, they put their MasterCard, their Visa, their car payment, Discover in that specific order. And what we did was we told them, okay, pay your same minimums. Don't do anything more, nothing less. But now by their first card should be paid off by December, 2021. Now what they could do is take that $303. Most people are going to go spend it. They're going to be like, yes, I'm debt free. I'm done. Or they'll take that $303 and put it on the card they owe the most money on, thinking it's going to lower it quicker. But we say, no, take that $303 and put it towards card number two that the computer tells you, which is your visa. Now you're paying $353 on your visa plus what you used to pay on your MasterCard. Now you're debt free out of that debt a month later. Now you take that money, put it towards your next payment, which is your car payment. And just by doing that, we got them out of debt 10 years and four months sooner, and we saved them $42,000 in interest. And what's crazy is we tell them it doesn't even stop there. Now, once they're debt free at 48 instead of 58 and 55, they can consider taking that $2,882 that they were paying towards their debt, investing it. Now, they'll retire with approximately, by the time they're 67, an extra $1.5 million dollars. And that's really the power of Primerica. The way I look at our company, we're, we're an education company. We show people how to go from good to even better, right? And then finally, another area we show people is we show them when it comes to their life insurance needs, right? A lot of people, what we teach them is something called the theory of decreasing responsibility. And that's what separates Primerica from the rest of the industry. If you look over here, we teach people that life insurance is not something you need for the rest of your life. If you look over here, that when you're in your 30s, 40s, 20s, you may have young children. You may have college education. You're trying to save money for them. You have debts you're trying to pay off. You have a mortgage that you're trying to pay off. And you're trying to save some money for your own retirement. So wouldn't you agree, people in their earlier years in life, their expenses are very high, and typically their savings are low. That's why we tell people insurance is very, very important because a loss of income at this point in time would be very devastating. However, if you reverse 30, 40 years down the road, and the key word here is if they do the right things in their earlier years, they should have enough money saved up to retire. At that point, even if they were, uh, their child was one, 30 years down the road, their child is 31, Hopefully at this point, they're old enough and they're able to, re to rely on themselves for income, right? Their children's education should be paid off. Their debt should be paid off. So they don't need as much as they needed in their earlier years. We want to teach people how to become self-insured, not just rely on an insurance company for the rest of their lives to pay their family. We want to teach people how to become cash rich, not just insurance rich. 
And then we break it down to them. We give them their exact income protection number, right? And what we do is this family, Jack, he wanted a check for $2,100 a month to come to his family for the next 15 years, right? He also wanted to make sure if God forbid he was no longer here, the mortgage would be paid off, the debts would be paid off, his children are able to go to college, and his funeral expense would be paid off. And we deduct any savings that he already had. That's why he needed 611,000 of life insurance. Right now, if Jack has 611,000 of life insurance, if God forbid something happens to him tomorrow, his family's gonna get a check for $2,100 every single month for the next 15 years. The mortgage will be paid off, the debts will be paid off, their children can go to college, and their, their funeral expense will be paid off. So that's the power of what we do. We show them exactly what they need, not just only what they can afford. We match it as best as possible. We wanna show families exactly what it is that they need. And then finally, what we do is we put together a budget worksheet. We show people exactly where is their money going on a monthly basis, right? And if they have extra money, great. If not, it, we show them how maybe we could show them an opportunity where they can actually have that money. Uh, if let's say they don't have enough money saved up, to, here's their debt. There we go, right? The budget worksheet, right? We see at the end of the month, do they have surplus? Do they have extra money where we can show them how to utilize that money more to their advantage? Or they have a shortfall where they don't have enough money. And if they don't have enough money, we see if there's any way we can save the money in any areas. If not, again, we offer them an opportunity. Maybe they can work with our company on a part-time, spare-time basis. We can show them how to make an extra thousand, two thousand dollars a month working with our company part-time. And at the end of the day, that's kind of the power of the FNA sample. And that's exactly what we do when we sit down with families and what we're able to educate them with, right? But that's really my part and what I wanted to cover with you guys. But the next person I wanna pass it down to is Nora. She's gonna cover with you guys exactly how to input the FNA and really what is the power and how we close with the FNA as well. So I'm gonna pass it down to Nora. All right, so I'm sure you guys can hear me now. All right, perfect. Uh, so I know Magda definitely did a great job and all the previous speakers uh, were definitely excited to be with you guys uh, today and show you a little bit about, you know, how to close business using the FNA, using the things that the company provides us with. So I'm going to go right into it. I kind of prepared something uh, so we could go right into it. So let me show you guys. So when you sit down with a family, you know, they want to be a part of it. They want to learn uh, and they want an FNA for themselves. So we go ahead and we show them, okay, so this is, you know, this is Jack and Donna's scenario, which is great, but let's talk about your family. Let's talk about what matters most, which is your children and your family and your income. So we're going to put together your financial needs analysis and what the analysis is going to do for us, Mr. and Mrs. Client, is going to provide us with what you need, and we're going to match it as best as possible to what you can afford. It's going to be all according to your income. Uh, so with that being said, I just prepared something just to give you guys an idea. So when you go on Turbo Apps, of course, we know uh, where to type in and what to put in, uh, but it really is very simplified. That's why it makes the business easy for somebody like us that didn't have any experience in business prior, didn't have any experience in finance prior, but it's really data entry. That's all you need to do. So for example, uh, you know, we put in their personal information, their names, uh, birthday. So I just made uh, Bob and Susan Smith, right? Uh, whatever age they are. So they're in their 30s. And that's typically the clients that you want to sit down with around that age range where you could help them the most because they're starting a young family, they're starting to put together their whole uh, finances in order and you come in there and you help them uh, kind of get that started. So with that being said, uh, they have a, a young child. So let's go on to the next thing. So the typical middle, middle income families, they were bringing home about um, 3,500 for the husband, 2,500 for the wife. Uh, we put that in and then we go ahead and we look into the retirement, right? And before I even go into that, I let them know like, here's, the, uh, here's what the analysis is gonna allow us to do. It's gonna allow us to help you solve the two problems in life that nobody could avoid. The first problem uh, is living too long. Living too long is a blessing, but if we don't have the money, we're gonna have to you know, put something together to get prepared for that, right? If we're in our 70s or 80s, you gotta make sure that we're prepared, right? The next thing is dying prematurely or dying too soon. And that's why we're gonna help you put together a game plan to take care of the two problems in life that nobody can avoid. So I'm gonna show you what you need will match as best as possible to what you can afford. So then you ask them, right? The FNA already has the normal retirement age set up, but on the other side over here, and I highly encourage you to kind of play around with this, like create your own, like kind of just play around with it to get more familiar with it. Uh, so we click other retirement age and they wanted to retire, let's say at 65 years old. And typically speaking, like it says right here, an average 
it's, rec uh, it's recommended you will need 80% of your current income, right? So we let them know that, hey, maybe 80% of what you're making right now later on will be enough because now your children are grown, your mortgage is paid, a lot less expenses. So with that being said, they needed about 4,800. And then you go ahead and you click on the sub tabs on the bottom there. So we go, go to assets, let's say, right? And now when you click on assets, you will be able to input whatever they have with their job, whatever they have with previous jobs, right? So the first question it asks is how much do you currently have saved for retirement? So let's say Bob had a 401k plan where he had $10,000, right? That's very typical, right? It's not a crazy amount, not very small, not very big, but most middle income families, uh, if they do have a full-time job, which is where your market is, they will have some type of 401k or some type of savings for their retirement. Susan had, let's say 15,000. Uh, and then we asked them if they had anything with their previous employer. That's a very important question because that's where you're gonna be able to show them if you could do a better job for them than where they currently are leaving their money. Or maybe you could show them how to you know, uh, sit down with an investment specialist that will teach them about interest rates and the different things that they can get with that, right? So whatever their job is given them, we ask them if, uh, you know, well, whatever they're putting towards their 401k. And then we ask them if their job matches them and how much do they match them. And then you go to results, right? And that's gonna show you the page that Magda covered earlier, which includes your FIN number, right? So for this couple, if they wanted to retire at the age of 65, and they wanted to have $4,800 coming to them, as we can see, inflation is 3%, they're gonna need more like 13,000 because they got another 30, 34 and 35 years until they retire. By then, things are gonna be a lot more expensive, right? So a lot of times you'll see this, right? It says warning, and most of our clients, unfortunately, are gonna have that warning. Once in a while, you'll see a congratulations, right? But the good news is when you see that, that means you'll be able to help them, right? So for this couple, for them to reach their goals, they needed to be putting away about $1,000 every single month, $1,200, right? And that's when I bring up, hey, you know, as a matter of fact, that's very normal. You know, I know it looks like a huge number, uh, but anything's better than nothing at all. And our, what I love about our company is we allow you to start investing with as little as $25, $50 a month. That's unheard of in the industry, right? Uh, and not only that, one thing I realized is most of our clients have enough money, uh, you know, to maybe uh, pay the bills, keep the lights on. If, if we open the fridge, there's food. But the difference between us surviving and achieving our goals and dreams, between us just living a good life and being able to achieve the things that we want is maybe an extra thousand or two that I can help you make working with us. Is that something you'd be open for if I was able to show you how to add that additional thousand, two thousand dollars so you could be able to make that on a spare time basis and put that towards this? And most of them say, yes, why not, right? Who else is offering them an opportunity to add an additional thousand, two thousand dollars on a spare time, part time basis, right? Uh, other than our amazing opportunity. So that's that part, uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through it really fast now. So with that being said, we go on to the debt part, right? Let's talk about your debt. So this is a, a client example. They had, you know, some credit cards. They had a car payment. So before sitting down with us, this client was going to be in debt until they're 49 and 48. We showed them how to get out of debt within the next three years, right? That's the light at the end of the tunnel. Most people are paying debts with no idea when they're going to be debt free. We got them out of debt 15 years sooner. And we uh, sooner and we saved them thousands of dollars of interest. And if you click on details, that's where you want to go. Uh, click on details to show them what happened. How did we make that happen, right? So that's that part over there. All right. And then we go to life insurance, right? So before sitting down with us, this couple didn't have anything outside of their job. A lot of families, unfortunately, depend on the job for their insurance needs, not knowing that, you know, there's a lot of disadvantages that comes with that. Number one, it's not a one size fits all. And unfortunately, with jobs, they do have a one size fits all uh, policy where, okay, this person has the same coverage, they get a certificate, not a policy. There's a lot of things and you could go on POL and learn from Steve Madison, what's the disadvantages with that. Uh, but if you take a look over here, you know, we ask them, okay, how long do you want your income to be coming in and how long do you want it to cover your child? So they said, until my youngest is 21 years old. So you have options here. You could put a specific number of years, you can put until your child is of a certain age. You could put until my spouse retires. It doesn't matter what you want, but the best thing is the clients love the fact that they have the option, right? Uh, and then we include everything they want to cover if they were to pass away, God forbid, uh, which includes maybe their consumer debt, funding their children's college, funeral expenses, and then you click on results.
So for this family, they needed, the husband needed 584,000, the wife needed 40, uh, 437,000. Uh, and for them to have that coverage, it tells you right here. But however, what I would like to do is I would want a quick quote for them uh, based on what they need to match as best as possible to what they can afford. So let's say they gave me a $300 commitment, right? If they gave you a $300 commitment, then you could go ahead and let me go to quick quote, right? So this is a quote for this couple. Uh, and for the husband to have half a million dollars of insurance, the wife to have half, uh, 300,000 of insurance, altogether it's $152 a month. Now let's take that difference and go ahead and invest it and add it on to whatever they have with their, uh, with their previous 401k plan. I think it logged us out for that, but that will provide them with almost a million dollars. If you add the $10,000 plus the nine, uh, at 9% interest rate, uh, with the financial calculator plus the 150, you'll be able to give them a game plan, not only to take care of their insurance needs, but also to take care of wealth building needs and teaching them how to become financially independent one day, because that's ultimately the goal. So let me show you guys. So let me do 225,000. And let's say we put over here 35 years at 9% interest rate, and you do $150. That they originally agreed to. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I think it's just. All right, there we go. Right. And then it breaks it down to them what what the interest rate was if they left it at a bank what they would have and unfortunately that's where most of our clients leave their money so that's just a little bit about how we put together the fna and then after it's all said and done they understand that later on they're going to have wealth built and they're also going to be able to protect their family in the meantime we go ahead and ask them okay so you know if this all makes sense let's go ahead and get you qualified because one thing about life insurance something you can't buy something that you got to qualify for so what we're going to require today is just the uh the first uh, first month to get you conditionally covered and then the moment you get approved uh, you know we'll call you up and we'll make sure that you understand exactly and then you just go ahead and click apply now and I think the system is really simplified where you could go from the FNA to the quick code like you just you know one click after another and it's just so smooth if you utilize what the company has out there for us and the training that Jimmy and Eileen and Glenn and CEO have for us this is just copying and pasting what we've learned from our leaders from our uplines and you know it's just crazy to have an opportunity to share that with you guys and you know the next person I get to bring up I've watched them do this process over and over and over again until we always learned it and uh, definitely we're very uh, glad we have an opportunity to be uh, plugging in with with them and learning from them uh, and they're actually uh, just crossed over their ninth diamond so I'm gonna bring up the master dragon Glenn Lee. <laughs> All right hey CEO you wanted to say something before or no? No, great job. We're so proud of the team. You guys lit it up. We're so uh, just proud of you guys. And especially during these times, uh, we're going to make sure that guys that we step up our game, people need it more today than ever before. And we just have to, I love what uh, Jimmy said, just go and contact people, making sure that you get the information that Magda and Nora shared with you, that Glenn shared with you, that Sarah shared with you. And uh, I'm going to bring up Glenn just to close us out. And thank you, Diana for hosting this and having us on. All right, okay, let me just share with you the numbers. Great job, Magda and Nora. Great job, uh, Jimmy and Eileen, and great job, uh, Sarah Isaacson, and obviously, uh, CEO. Uh, but I wanted to cover the numbers with you real quick, okay? Uh, so right now, we're off to a fast start. The team is on, on, on a tear explosion, you know? Um, and what I love is that everybody rised up, man. Everybody, everybody stepped up their game. Now, think about this. This is the first week is already over. So you want to take a look at your goals, okay? Um, are you, if, if, if you said this month you're going to do 20 by 20, are you already five by five? Are you a quarter of the way through your goals right now? If, you're, if your goal is 40 by 40, are you 10 by 10 right now, right? You don't always want to play catch up at the end of the, at the, end of the month, okay? It's, it screws you up psychologically. Now, you always want to have a push at the end of the month. But you also want to make sure that you're doing the right things, right? Uh, you're working on a daily basis, always beginning with the end in mind, right? Break it down. Give yourself a milestone, right? Like we talked about the other day. 
what is your next milestone? I know, I know the leaders right now that are on here, you know, your, maybe your next milestone is to get that district leader promotion, right? Don't wait till tomorrow, do it today, right? Like the, the easiest thing to do is let yourself off the hook because you can easily just go and watch the news right now and, you're, and, you, and, and the whole world is letting you off the hook right now. But the point is life goes on, you know? Life goes on, you gotta take precautions, right? You gotta do all, all of that stuff, right? Can't be reckless. But the point is, life goes on, right? Our, our dreams can't be put on hold, right? The families that we help can't be put on hold. We do something that's noble. We go out there, we, we protect families. We show them how to save in times of like this, right? This is especially right now. No time is the best time to invest, but right now is the best time to invest, right? Um, especially the way that the market is, right? So one, one of the things we want to make sure that you do is you educate families about what we do, okay? And obviously, you go out there right now, Everybody is available. You could go out there right now and you could talk to people about, about, about an opportunity. People are more open today than ever before. I mean, think about it. We talk to people about making more money and having freedom and helping families. Now, think about, think about this. Even if you have no idea what Primerica is about, like yesterday's op meeting, right? You might have the newest person on the op meeting, sitting through the op meeting. They might not have a clue about Primerica, they might not have a clue about about uh, about um finance, okay? But if, but the moment we mention, look at the way we help our families. We give client examples, right? Look at the way look at the way you can make income here, right? We give all the examples of people that are successful in Primerica, right? From uh, and we show the math behind the success. We're not just throwing throwing fluff out there. We show the examples of success and exactly what you need to do to succeed. And also, I mean, think about this, freedom, being able to build a business, right? Be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. But, but think about this, people are breaking, having breakthroughs right now as, as the world, the whole world is paralyzed by the media, right? The, we're, we're having breakthroughs in our company. In our hierarchy, there's people are having breakthroughs, right? Entrepreneurs and leaders adopt, okay? So uh, the leaders rally to everything, right? You rally to conference calls, Zoom calls, you rally to uh, Monday managers meetings, Wednesday drill for skills, all the op meetings, right? Saturday training, con everything. Leaders rally to everything because you don't want to miss a beat and you don't want your, 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 your people to miss anything at all, okay? Guys, listen, there's, there's never been, and you heard from Magda and Nora, there's never been a time that people need us more. So look at this. You know, there's never been more of a sense of urgency. Not that, not that right now it's more important. What we do is more important than ever before. But right now, people are more aware that they're of the importance of what we do more than ever before. Okay, so Magda and Nora covered the F and A. They 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 do an, a financial needs analysis just like Jimmy and Eileen do on every single appointment they go on. Okay, every single person that comes through their organization gets a financial needs analysis done. Right, I don't, it doesn't matter how young they are. It, it doesn't matter how single they are. Right, what does matter is everybody has a financial game plan. And when you sit down with somebody who's not, who may not be a, in 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 the in the four or five point market, you know, they still need a savings program. They still need some. If they got somebody that they love, they need some sort of protection. Right. Um, if they have goals in the future, they need some sort of protection. And and so, and so if they they do an F&A every single time and their, and their quality, their QBI is at 75. I know Magda and Nora's QBI is over 77 right now. And so they do a financial needs analysis every single time and they, and they keep clients. Their clients know the value of what they do. And that's because through the financial needs analysis, we reiterate, okay, we prove to them the value of what's happening right now. Listen, Right now, it's never been a better time to learn the fundamentals. You know, Hector Lamar talked about the seven fundamentals, right? It's never been more easier uh, or, more, or, or even, uh, think about this, okay? More people, people are more, are, are easier to get in touch with today. They're more available than ever before, okay? Because, I mean, it's either this, Netflix, or the news. The, the, the last two is not going to help you grow, Okay. But, but, but it's either, it's either sit down and go through trainings. We've had, we've had zoom trainings every single day. I know our regional vice presidents have zoom trainings with their teammates every single day. Okay. This Friday, we're going to do a drill for skill on the presentation and how do you go from 
How do you go from the presentation? Okay. How do you go from a client and how do you, how do you recruit a client? So how do you go from a client? Okay. Into transitioning into to recruiting the client and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be drilling on that as well okay this this uh, friday at uh, at 10 a.m so you want to make sure that you're on that okay so also okay the fundamentals never been an easier time to learn you know it's just don't get tone deaf and don't get sick and tired of learning it you know tr becker said you know it's not either or it's both it's everything right now we're going to bombard you and we're going to take this window of time and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna throw everything at you. We're gonna, if, if, if you learn, like Keith Otto the other day went over how to do a financial needs analysis. And I said to Keith, I go, I go, Keith, you know what's crazy, man? I saw you do this 21 years ago and it's still the same today. And I go, whoever listened to you, right? Whoever listened to you and whoever, whoever does it the most or gets it done the most also makes the most money and becomes the most successful. See, we're going to give out all the information you need to grow. We're going to give out all the information that, that every single person needs in order to become successful here. Now, it's up to each and every person to take this information, like whether right now your, your, your camera is muted or re whether right now you're sitting there taking, taking copious notes, like uh, I see David Moyston doing, right? Right? Now, how do you, uh, you know, I, I see him like he, like I could see him working out and doing this at the same time. You know what I mean? But how, but how crazy is it that, that there's going to be people on here that are going to, that are going to be the next leaders in Primerica. And yet there's going to be people in Primerica that quit given the same information. It's how, it's your attitude, right? It's how your attitude is. If your attitude is open and you're, and you got desire, you, you can, you can pull off the discipline and you got the work ethic. There's nothing like Primerica over here, okay? And then we talk about the mentals. What are the mentals of Primerica? You gotta show up early, right? Show up early to the meetings. Now, we don't do meetings in our office, but how about the Zoom meetings? Are you early for the Zoom meetings, right? Are you picking and choosing the meetings you're going to? See, I know the leaders, I, like I see the same faces over and over and over again because we got, we got the front panel right now, right? And then, and, and, and listen, but you could take it at your own pace too. Maybe you're part-time, maybe you came aboard part-time. And we love you too, okay? But I, all I know is the people that plug in the most are going to be the, or, or, and implement the most, are going to be the ones that are the most successful here in Primerica, okay? Um, show up, are you showing up positive, right? See, one, one of the things is make, have a mirror in front of you. It's, e more, it's easier than ever before to have a mirror in front of you. Like, how are you showing up uh, uh, to Zoom? You know, how's your camera facing? Is your camera facing directly at you or is your camera facing the ceiling, right? Or is the camera facing the floor or is your ca camera? See, these are all things as dumb as those things sound as, 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 as unimportant as they may seem. They're freaking important. The details are important. Everything you do, taking the notes are important, right? How paying attention is important. So, Goals and dreams. Your goals and dreams, like we talked about, can't be put on hold. You know why? Because, because momentum, the, the, harder, the harder you do this thing, the more, the, 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 the more intensity you do this with, and in Zoom, you could do more than you've ever done before. You can condense time frames. You can, take, you can take everything that you know, right? And instead of driving through traffic and maybe, maybe going to an appointment where husband is not there or wife is not there. You know, now if you got a dark house, you just click off and you click to something else because we can set up appointments every single hour right now. In the same time frame that it used to take you to do one appointment, we can, we can do three or four appointments at the same time. And rejections never been more easier to take because there's like, we don't, we don't, we're not paying tolls. Right, we're not we're not driving through traffic, even though those things are important. Once the whole world returns back to normal, but 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 with that being said, take advantage of these times right now because this is a great addition, okay, to what we do down the road, right? It, this, think about this. We've grown. The leaders in here have grown since this has happened. You've got tougher. You know, you can talk to teammates five years, ten years. 20 years down the road. And by the way, there's going to be other, other things that are going to, there's going to be other hurdles, but, but you're going to take this information, uh, the, your mental toughness that you build during these times 
And what's going to happen is you're, you're going you're gonna to be able to tell stories, right? It's, it makes you feel better. Your self-esteem grows, right? As, 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 as you don't do what other people tend to do, right? When, when, when the rest of the world, right, is hunkered down, waiting for the next droplet of news, right? Guess what we're doing? We're going out there giving people an opportunity. We're going out there and we're helping our clients, right? Um, you know, goals and dreams have expiration dates. Because, 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 listen, our families can't wait, right? Our clients can't wait. And listen, I'm going to end with this. Sir Winston Churchill said this, okay? A pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. See, I don't know if it's that difficult what we're doing right now. But I do know if we put it in our heads that it's difficult, it will be difficult. But I love, I love what's happening right now, not, not in the rest of the world, but in the primarical world. I love what's happening. All the leaders coming together. There's never been more communication than ever before. But out of these times, you're going to see new superstars rise. And, to, and it's about to happen right now because they're starting to rise, okay? How many rings, how many leaders are going to pop out right now? Let's go make it happen, guys. Thank you, home office. Thank you, leaders, okay? Thank you for your time. Let's go crank it up. RVP conference call. Take care.